So uh, Paul Keenitz from Riverside Athletic Club has allowed us to use this pool to do some testing of our turnout gear. Turnout gear would be the gear that we wear for fi structural firefighting. We also wear that gear in the winter time when we go onto the ice uh, outside the city limits there's no fire hydrants so we have to drill a hole with an ice auger to, and stick a tube down to suck the water out in the winter time to fill up our, our tenders to transport water to a fire. So our firefighters are going on with this gear out onto the ice drilling a hole and putting a portable pump there. We always wondered for, for many, many years what would happen if a firefighter fell through. Would the turnout gear uh, soak up the water and it, and it would be not, not uh, floatable or are they actually going to float? They do wear a PFD, that's a part of policy for the fire department to wear a PFD. So we have four different types of PFD, so we're testing them in the pool today to see which one works better to hold us up for buoyancy. And, it's, and we're also timing to see uh, the saturation point of our turnout gear and how long it takes to saturate it with water before they start to sink. Athletic Club in the pool today. We had two firefighter paramedics in the water, um, Jason Henricks and Nick Phelps. Uh, they both fell into the water with their turnout gear, their firefighting gear, and a helmet on. Um, stayed calm on their back. The inner liner of the turnout gear um, soaks up with water. We had tested it, uh, timed it, about a minute 40 seconds for that uh, material to absorb and get saturated. Um, Nick stayed flat on his back with his arms out like this, trapped some air in his chest and trapped some air in his, um, in his upper legs. And uh, Jason basically laid flat and the water came in his legs and uh, Jason's gear got saturated a lot quicker than Nick's uh, because of Nick's uh, uh, survivor uh, position that he was in the water. So about a minute 40 is when that gear starts getting saturated to the point where it starts to drag you down. And the firefighter that remained buoyant in the water, um, would that happen in a real time situation such as cold or extreme weather? Well, typically when, we, when we, we're doing this training to see when we fall through the ice with our turnout gear on, how much time we have, typically you're more vertical than you are horizontal. We just wanted to test the gear, how long it would take to saturate the gear. Also in cold water, your motor functions of your hand, your brain function, the thinking is going to go a lot quicker than a minute 40 seconds so that your gear is going to get saturated. So cold water is a whole different animal than it is here in a pool where it's warm water. So today in the Riverside Athletic Club pool we tested some PFDs, personal flotation devices. These would go over our turnout jackets. It's a policy of the Merrill Fire Department that you have a PFD on whenever you enter on ice or walk on the ice for our turnout gear. So we wanted to test, we have a, three different kinds we wanted to test which one was more buoyant in the water and which one is the safest for our firefighters to wear when we're out on the ice. 
Uh, this Type 3 uh, vest here did a pretty good job keeping the uh, firefighter uh, buoyant in the water. We also have a rescue vest that we wear with our swift water gear. This isn't meant to be worn over our turnout gear. We wear this over our neoprene uh, swift water rescue equipment. But we wanted to see how effective this PFD would be over our, uh, our turnout gear. This one did not do as well. Again, but it was not designed for that purpose. And then we have this device here, basically a CO2 cartridge inside. Firefighter would pull this yellow strap here, inflates the yellow, it goes around the neck, similar to this. This PFD is what we carry on all of our ambulances and we carry on our tender. This is the PFD that we have, that we wear out on top of our turnout gear. Basically a little tube and then when you inflate it, it comes up to this yellow. This PFD worked the best. It has a head protector or a neck protector in the back here. It keeps your head above water and this hugs in the chest area right here. So the PFD that we carry on all of our rigs and that the firefighters currently wear out on the ice actually did the best job of keeping us buoyant.